YouTube! So today is Story of My Life series and I'm pretty excited and hyper because I got my Coke and you guys know I've been loving my Coke and I got the one at LaToya so LaToya I was like oh I gotta have that one I was with the best friend uh, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get LaToya. There is not my name. There's like, I couldn't find my name. I went through like 20 Coke bottles and there was like none that said Alexis or Jade or anything. I was like, so I, when I seen LaToya, I was like, I have to get LaToya. So anyways, so this one's gonna be random questions. Um, I didn't know what topics to like really, you know, hit on. So it's just gonna be random questions that you guys have asked me over time. And let's just roll with it. Okay, this, okay. First question. How does your family take to you doing YouTube videos? Do they make fun of you? Do people clown on you for making them? Um, at first, my family really wasn't really like into me doing the whole YouTube thing. It was like, no one really got excited or was like really happy for me. It was kind of like, eh. But as time went on and they really did see that I was serious about it and that I really loved, you know, playing with makeup and all of that, then that's when they started to really care, but it's pretty, it's pretty fun. I, I tell my brothers like, oh, guess how many views I got today, or guess like the guess this and guess that, and like I tell everybody like, oh my god, babe, I just hit like you know this many or this many, and he like he gets all like, all amped up and excited with me, so it's pretty, it's pretty okay. And no, there's not people who like you know clown on me for it or anything. Um, people ask me a lot of advice, which is awesome because I love it, you know. But no. See, how are you planning or stopping the kids from being from being about that life, um, gangster life, thug life, hood rat life? Okay, <laughs> that was just hilarious. Um, I plan on doing things a lot different. Like, you know, my babies, I tell them like, I'm not your friend. I'm your mom. Like, don't talk to me like that. Especially when my brother was living here, it was really, really hard because they would hear him like try to say like some slick shit to me, and like my babies would try like to like talk to me like that but uh uh like what'd you say i'm gonna give you one chance to repeat what you just said and like it was completely different me and my mom had a different type of relationship it was more like we joke around you know talk shit to each other and that's why our relationship is the way it is um so i'm gonna be all up in my baby's business i don't care if they get mad if they hate me it's okay baby you can hate me whatever but you're gonna thank me when you get older promise me that so I promise me that. I promise you that. So, yeah, that's how I'm going to stop it. I'm going to be on my kids. You know, I'm not their friend. Like, I'm their parent. I'm supposed to mold them for this world. You know what I mean? Like, they're the next generation. They, We have to better our babies and, you know, make sure they walk straight and, like, they don't do nothing stupid because they are, you know, they're the future. So, yeah, I'm going to be on them. How did you meet your best friend and how did your cousin pass away? I met my best friend in school, in junior high. We were in computer class. I love computer class. And I was just sitting there and she always said like I had a bitch face and she was like, I was always so scared to talk to you. But one day her friend wasn't there, you know, and I was just sitting there on the computer doing my own thing because I seriously was like so low. And she was just like, hey. Like awkward as hell, and I was just like, "Hey!" And it just happened. Like we started talking, and she liked this boy that I knew, and it was just that's how it happened. It was just, eh, it just, you know, you pick a human out, and you're like, "I like you," and you know, that human becomes your friend. Um, and how my cousin passed away. A lot of a lot of you guys were messaging me about that, and um, I was just like, Ugh, crying and crying. The previous video that I did on, you know, story of my life. Cholas um, stories. It was when I talked about him. It was just like, uh, like, oh, he was like my brother. It's gonna happen now. No, I don't want to cry. He was like my brother, and oh, God. the way he passed away, he was playing Russian roulette, and you know the the bullet. You know it, he died. That's how it happened. He was playing Russian roulette, and the, he the bullet. I don't want to talk about it. Um. But yeah, he died by playing that, that stupid ass game and he, he died. Um, I don't want to hear any rude comments about like- That was so stupid. But like, I know. I know it was stupid. What he did, it was dumb, whatever. But like, don't talk about the dead. Like, in any bad, like, any bad way, whatever, whatever. Like, don't. <laughs> like, especially if it's about my cousin and you guys want to say something mean. Like, oh, like, you're going to hurt me. So don't, please. It was really stupid what he did. 
Um, I went over to my mom's house at the time. I was pregnant with Andrew. And, nope, who was it? No, no, no. I was pregnant with Eli. I said Andrew. I was pregnant with Eli, and I went over to my mom's house. And I was, like, really huge. And I was, like, standing over, like, her. She was sitting down, and I was standing over her like that. Like, oh, because, you know, you're pregnant, and your back hurts. And you're just like, oh. She's like, did you hear? Like, you know, chill as fuck. And I was like, hear what? And she's like, John passed away. And I was just like, like this. And I was like, you're lying. And she's like, oh. you know, she was so stupid about him. Call me a fucking liar. And I was just like, you're lying. Like, you know, like when you tell someone that, you know, like someone that they love passed away. And they say you're lying. You're supposed to comfort them. And I'd be like, I'm not a fucking liar. So that was like, it pissed me off. Like, you know, like, oh, like it just made me feel like all these emotions. I'm pregnant. So I'm even like crying and you know she told me like I'm serious he passed away like I was talking to so-and-so and he said like he killed himself and I was like what so I got onto Facebook and was like going through all my friends and like trying to figure out what the hell happened and I contacted my cousin who was his brother you know John's brother and I like I texted him like is it true like you know did John pass away and he was like yeah and I was like oh <gasps> crying it was just like oh like why I was just like all these emotions were just and then I found out how he passed like because his brother called me and was like yeah he was playing Russian roulette and what pisses me off is that he was fucking playing by himself and I'm just like why like and I was thinking like was he depressed was was he going through a lot is that why he didn't give a fuck by playing the game you know what I mean oh there's so many emotions so many of this too, but um, oh, I oh, I hate, I hate that, I hate it, I hate it. I coached myself, and I was like, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, good cry. But I do feel that he is around me sometimes. And sometimes, like, I'll have a shitty ass day, and I'll just sit in there, like, like John, I know you're there. Like, hear me out, cause I'm having a bad effing day. And like, I know, I know he's listening, and especially, yeah, especially that moments where it's like it gets too quiet, like you just feel. You just feel love, you know what I mean? But yeah, that's how that's how he passed. At what age did you did you pass out in school? I think she mean dropped out. I dropped out when I was in eighth grade. Um, yeah, it was. I was just. I seriously hated school. I hated sitting there and not doing anything. I was just like, and yeah, a lot of things happened around that time. I got pregnant and I. I couldn't go back to that school and I wanted to go back to that school. I was being a little mocosa and stuff. But I dropped out when, was, when I was in 8th grade and then I got my GED when I was 17. So, yeah. Like, you guys don't know how dumb I felt. Like, not having like a high school diploma and watching everybody on MySpace and Facebook like, you know, talk about school and all that. And I was just sitting there with a the baby like... But when I turned to 17 and I was finally like, you know, doing things on my own Seeing that like, I really did need this, like, you know, high school diploma, GD, whatever, got my ass into the school and I did it and got my GD. And I've gotten a lot of good jobs with that GD, so. What's one thing that grinds your gears? Or if more, please share. That's a good question. Um, not a lot of really, not a lot of, not a really, blah, 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 blah. You know I'm lying from like blah, 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 blah. um <laughs> not a lot of things really grind my gears. Um there are a few. There's one in particular that like really grinds my gear is when someone says you should. Like I don't know why, there's just something about that. I'm just like, oh I should. Like I don't know why. Like, um for us for instance, one of my friends she always says, Oh, you know, you should totally do that for me. Or you should totally give me that. Or you should do this. You should do that. And it's always like for me, me, me. Like, uh, bitch, where's your please and thank you and can you and will you? Like, like, ah, uh, I don't know why. It just like really gets to me. I try not to let it get to me. Um, but I'm just like, <laughs> like it hurts. Like, <laughs> I don't know why. Like, oh, what? Like, I, I don't know. What's another one? Oh, when people chew when they're eating, I cannot stand it. Like, why do you gotta be smacking your gums? Like, it's like, close your mouth. Mm hmm. Close your mouth. Like, when my babies, they know not to smack their gums around me because I don't like that. Like, what if they go out and they have dinner with, you know, someone's family 
and they're just like smacking their gums. Like I don't want them to think that like that. Like I just let my babies just like in like no manners, no nothing. Like so every time like mommy's around in the kitchen, I just look around while they're eating and they're just like you know. But then there's times where like my brother's over and they're like because that's how my brother eats and ooh like I go to the like don't do that. Ugh. I can't stand it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything else, I'm just like, eh. Like, there's a lot of things that like irk Rudy. I'm just like, Psh. like, Psh. um, not really. Oh, but when I'm in the car, that's a whole different story. Yeah, that's one of them too. People who don't use their blinker, or when you're driving and someone's like really riding your ass, and it's like you just want to step on your brakes and be like, oh, kiss it, bitch. Like that kind of thing makes me so mad when people like want to get so close to my ass, and it's just like. I'm going the speed limit. I'm not a slow driver, okay? I'm going the speed limit. Do not ride my ass. And it's like, and if you do, I'm going to just go slower. And I'll even move out of the way. Ugh. But people just, I hate the way people drive. I'm just like, ugh. Especially when they don't use their blinker. Ugh. I hate it. I really hate it. It really grinds my gears. But, damn girl is a good question. Got me all, all hyped up and everything. Let's move on. How old is your mom? <laughs> my mom is 39 yeah I think 39 I think. please tell us what happened with Martin Luis I love that you guys said his full name and the whole situation um I love that there's only a few people that like call him Martin Luis they call him Martin and I'm just like that sounds kind of weird because like it makes me think of him like a big boy anyways the whole situation happened with that little mocoso was that he wanted to like act up and you know be a fool so we were home he was out at school and my other brother texts me Manuel he's like oh we picked up Martin and I'm like what Martin can tell me he's going anywhere why did you pick him up Manuel because he wanted us to okay is he gonna be back later I don't know <laughs> how come Martin is gonna call me I don't know. Okay, bye. Okay, that's how it went. And then I text Martin Luis, where are you at? I'm at grandma's, I'm gonna help grandma. Okay, nine o'clock comes. I'm gonna pick you up, where are you at? Doesn't answer. A couple hours later, where are you at Martin? No answer. But he's posting on Snapchat, Facebook, and all the other stuff, and I'm just like, where are you at? I'm gonna stay with dad. I call his dad. Do you have Martin Luis? Nope. Woo! So he wanted to do his own little thing. <laughs> and I'm just like, really? Okay, you wanna live with your dad? Alright, fine. That little shit didn't come home for two days. He didn't talk to me within those two days. I was over there going crazy, posting on Snapchat, like, I don't know what to do, you guys. He's going crazy on Facebook. Like, what do I do? Am I not parenting him right? And this and that and that. Because to me, he was the guinea pig, okay? Because he's the guinea pig of, like, how I'm supposed to do things with a teenager before my babies grow up. So he was the guinea pig, and the guinea pig failed and ran away. So he wanted to act up and be like, I want to go with my dad. Like, I don't want to live with you. You had too many rules. This, yada, yada, yada. And so he moved back with his dad, and I was just like, whatever. Like, it hurts and stuff, but the little mocoso, he wants to act like I don't do nothing. So psh, there you go. That's it. That's all that really happened. He wanted to act up. And act like he, you know, he wanted to go and do what he wanted for the weekend and he didn't want to tell me nothing and he just wanted to do him, act like he was grown and he made a threat like I'm going to live with my dad so I was like, andale way, get up then. That's how it is. Because I did everything for that little shit. For seven months, I put up with a lot and he was so quick to be like, oh, I, I didn't get no, I didn't get no calls, oh, my phone was dead. Like, he's so dumb. All the excuses I hear. Here's the mocoso. I used all of them with mom. Don't play me. I know. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> How many siblings do you have? Blood related and step. I have... Martin Luis, Manuel, Ray, Victoria, and Noah. So, five. Um, they're all step. Because, like I said, my mom... Um, you know, have me with my dad and he was like deuces and all that. So the, the, there's only three that are related is, well, related like blood, those 
those ones, whatever, same dad, Martinez Manuel and Victoria, and then Ray and Noah have different dads. Um, but yeah, but I never really seen them a step. Like, I used to hate it when, like, the ex would be like, oh, that's your stepbrother? Like, nope, that's my brother. Like, I don't see the whole step thing. Like, if you came from my mom, that's my brother. I don't give a shit. We have the same, like, we don't have the same dad. That's my brother. Like, I don't know why people say that. Like, oh, that's your stepbrother? Like, I think that's, that's only if you guys have, like, different moms or something. I don't know why. Like, if we both came out of mom's hoo-ha, you're, you're my brother. There's no step. So, yeah, that's that's how I see things. I don't know. Maybe other, other people are different, but like, that's how I see things. Next question. Describe yourself to us. Wow. Some good questions. Um, I could be nice. I could be funny. I could be friendly. I could be loving. Um, but I could, you know, be mean at the same time. I don't know how to really describe myself. How would you guys describe me? I don't I don't really know. I don't really know. How do you deal with your depression? Uh, eyelash is not on flick. Look at it. it just wants to like fly away. Um the way I deal with my depression, because I, I do have depression, anxiety, and all of that good stuff. Um, depression, it'll hit me like at times where it's just like, I don't want to do nothing. I just want to lay in bed and be like, you know, lay with the COVID has and put the fan on, you know, have one foot out and the rest in all cuddled up. But my kids keep me motivated a lot. Um, you know, just seeing their little faces and like them talking to me like that keeps me going and you guys keep me going like believe it or not I talk to a lot of you on snapchat on insta and on facebook and we talk so much there's like a lot of you that I already have like a friendship going where it's like you know I wake up in the morning and there's like a message from like that certain person and like we talk throughout the day and it's just awesome so you know I think it's my babies you know my husband and then you guys have a lot to do with it because like I used to be really really depressed before like you know YouTube and stuff I was just like really sad and it was it was really bad but it's gotten a lot better over time my anxiety I still have anxiety really really bad or like I'll have panic attacks like no other but to calm myself I just tell myself like what's gonna really happen the world's not gonna end, you know, nothing's bad's gonna happen, like, you might feel dumb, you know, because of this, or you might feel like, ah, but you'll be fine. It's just one of those things where it's like, you just have to coach yourself, well, that's me, I, I coach myself and stuff, but I still have my days where I'm just like, I have like a lot of panic attacks, I have a lot of panic attacks when I go into stores, like, that's crazy, right? Anywhere where there's a lot of people, I start to freak out, like, oh my god, this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen. Especially at night, I'm just like, oh, someone's gonna kill me, someone's gonna do this, and no one's gonna hear me. What if I'm not loud enough? What if I can't even scream when the person comes at me? Like, stuff like that. And it's really bad, like, anxiety. Like, oh my god, oh my god. Especially with my babies. Like, if we go anywhere, I'm always like, one, two, three, four, Angelica, Andres, and Eli, Gio. And like, oh, no, stay close, stay, stay close. Like, I freak out because I'm just like, God forbid, like, someone wants to come and, like, snatch my baby up and, like, you know, like, I don't know where to do, I don't know where to run, and, like, how am I going to carry the, re the rest of them? Like, am I going to grab all their hands and, let's go! Like, it's, it's so bad, but, um, you know, it's, it's not healthy to, like, love like that either because I can't just be stuck in the house all the time, you know what I mean? Like, I gotta go to the park and take my babies out, so I deal with that on a daily basis, so I can't, I can't really tell you, like, how I really, really deal with it because I'm just, I'm still struggling with it, but, you know... I just take it day by day, you know? How did you meet Rudy? I met the babe at work. This is our work. It was like, love at first sight. But yeah, I met him at work. But like, telemarketing <laughs> sucked. It's so crazy how timing and everything worked out. But I met him at work. Ooh, another good question. Do the boys resent the father for molesting you? Um, I know, I know Martin does, but I'm not sure about my other brother. Like, I know he get, he gets mad about it and stuff, and, like, he, like, talks about it here and there, but I don't really think they, like, really hate him. 
I just think that they have like, you know, like they will never see him the same, but I don't think it's just like, oh, fuck you, can't fucking stand you, you know, because like, like they've told me before, like, you know, I wish we could just leave that and be like, you know, fuck you for doing this to our sister. He's like, but where would we go? Oh, we can't go to mom. We can't go to grandma. Like, what can we do? And I'm just like, yeah, like I, I, I get you, like I understand, you know, so it's one of those things. So. Do your babies see their dad? So Andres and Angelica, they're from a previous relationship with the ex. And Elisha and Gio are with Rodolfo, uh, Rudy. So they do see him from time to time whenever he wants to, like, you know, make time to pick up the kids. Uh, they haven't seen him in a good minute. Uh, just because he's just, it's just like whatever, you know? So, um, yeah, he sees them when he can, like, when he wants to, not when he can, because, fuck, he can see them every day if he wanted to, but he doesn't. Um, when he makes time and, like, thinks, like, oh, you know, I want to, I want to be a dad today, then he'll pick them up, but, yeah. If you ask my babies who their daddy is, they'll tell you real quick, Rudy's their dad, and they refer to as the guy, so, yeah. How does Rudy's family take to your guys's relationship as in your two babies um that's a really good question i've had that question a lot and <sighs> uncles or anything but i think i got some ghost boogers where like it feels like <sighs> damn you see that go in <sighs> yeah ghost booger um anyways rudy's family is amazing okay i love his parents um they're just wow um from the beginning of our relationship it was just like i was thinking like oh my god i'm gonna get with rudy and like his parents are gonna hate me they're gonna think like who's this girl with two kids like why is he trying to like hook up with my baby so um because you know the ex had a, like a fucking bitch of a mother so um when i got with rudy i was really really scared with his parents i was just like oh my god what did they think of me they probably think like you know i'm some whore or something so i was like really scared but oh my god they are amazing um his mom and dad took me in like quick there was like no judgment no nothing it was awesome um rudy told me like he would always talk to his parents about me and stuff and i was just like wow so when they met me they were really excited because like rudy was really happy you know so they took me and my babies in like nothing like they don't see like oh you know that's her kids or nothing like my babies on the rest of my handy guy refer to rudy's mom and dad as grandpa and grandpa grandma and grandpa like there's no like no and like even rudy's sisters like they call the them thea and stuff and like you know his brother deal so it's just like they don't see anything like they don't see like oh that's her kids you know they're just like come on you know like you know there's you know come on guys and you know it's awesome um when i first moved in with rudy uh his sister was so so sweet to my baby angelica angelica was so small and even andres like it was so crazy i remember one like vivid memory i was taking a shower and andres and angelica were sleeping in the room so i took a shower and then I come back out and I was like, where the hell is Andres? Like, Andres is missing. I'm like, da, 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 you know? Leave, click here to watch my previous beauty video. Click it. Click it. Or, if you guys want to see what me and my little fam bam do, check out my vlog channel. It's right there. Click it. Click it. You want to see what I do with my family? <laughs>